Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Lance with Brian Christie. Today, I'm acting as the moderator for a discussion with Dirk Drost, the chairman of the board of the Binder Use Foundation, and with Anna Gore, who's recently joined the group as the director of operations. Dirk, to start us off, can you tell us a little bit about the Minor Use Foundation, what its mission and vision is? Sure, Matt, thank you very much. I'm gonna start with a vision. The vision of the organization is to provide growers around the globe with the latest technology for pest management. And secondarily, to break down barriers uh, that are formed that might influence their ability to trade uh, those crops, those minor crops, especially crops, globally. So two things, provide the latest technology and, and break down barriers. And why is that so important, Dirk? I think it's really important because new technology is really the basis for um, production e efficiency and effectiveness for, for growers, including growers of specialty crops um, and minor crops. So new technology is critical. Um, Trade barriers um, form uh, due to misaligned or missing maximum residue limits. And um, together, I think we can address those and reduce those barriers to trade. And finally, understanding what growers need by running a priority setting process, both regionally and globally, helps us understand what growers need and when they need it. And it gives us the tools that we need to be able to have an effective program. Sounds like quite an agenda. Uh, Anna, you have recently joined the foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and um, what brought you to the foundation? Sure, Matt, thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be joining the Minor Use Foundation. Um, I have a career in uh, international development with a focus on agriculture and the transformative power of agricultural technologies. And um, I am joining the foundation uh, from the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Foreign Agricultural Service, where I've worked for the past seven years with a focus on pesticide regulatory capacity building issues. And the mission of FAS is to both promote trade and also uh, conduct uh, capacity building projects globally. And I felt that the Minor Use Foundation's mission, as Dirk just described, is very much aligned with FAS. So I felt a lot of resonance with the mission. And I've seen the foundation grow so quickly over the past two years. I've been extremely impressed with its, with its growth. Um, and it, it now uh, has over 60 field trials underway. And I also see that there's a lot of unmet demand, that there are minor use grower organizations all over the world that still need this support. And so I'm here to bring my skills and experience to the foundation and help it reach its potential. Great, Anna. What are your goals for the coming year for the Minor Use Foundation? Well, looking ahead over the next year, I see that there's a lot of opportunities, which I'm really excited about. And I'm going to be focusing on two things. One is uh, the field residue trials, which are uh, currently the heart of the foundation's work, where they have active projects in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. And I'm going to be helping uh, focus on expansion in Africa, but expansion in all three continents there. Um, and then secondly, focusing on regulatory capacity building. And um, there I'm going to be bringing to bear a lot of my experience from my work at FAS. Uh, so helping regulators better um, make better decisions about pesticide regulation, understanding the principles of risk assessment, dealing with emergencies when there's a pest outbreak, things like that. So um, those are going to be my focus areas for the coming year. Dirk, how do you and the board see the next phase of the foundation's growth? We're excited that Anna's joining us and we're excited with the skills and the leadership that she's already demonstrating and will continue to demonstrate. She mentioned the two focal areas, the program building and development and regulatory capacity building. Um, the board would add to that the priority setting sessions that we are running. We ran recently in Asia last fall and we'll run this summer in Latin America. That will culminate in the global minor use priority setting session that we hope to hold at the same time as the next global minor use summit in the latter parts of 2023. So that'll be part of our work in the next 12 to 18 months is to set that meeting up and get it organized, get it communicated so that we can have another global minor use summit. Sounds like a full agenda, uh, a lot of work to do. Uh, thank you both. It's really an exciting time for this organization. 
please visit MindyUseFoundation.org to learn more about the foundation developments. Thank you.